Hey singers, thanks for watching this YouTube video. I really appreciate your support. If you have not subscribed, please consider doing so. I'm approaching 100,000 subscribers. It blows my mind to think there are that many people interested in singing and choir warm-ups and all the things that I do. This video is going to help you, if you're a choir director or a singer, be able to see the frequencies that you sing. Okay, I use this in choir rehearsal to help my singers improve their consonants or to understand the frequency of their voice so that they can blend better. This is a spectrogram. The thing I like about this spectrogram is it's free for you to use and it shows not only frequency, but also dynamics. For example, if you see the louder I get, the frequencies are red. Ah, ah, ah. When I sing vibrato, you can see that it goes up and down. Ah, that was not very good vibrato, but you see what I'm doing. Okay, if I sing a straight tone, You can see that it goes straight. Now, every sound is made up of multiple frequencies. Not every sound. Sometimes there's a sine wave, and sine waves sound like this. Sine waves are only one frequency. Most instruments, and especially voices, have a complicated series of interweaving sound waves together. Now, I'm going to show you some different sounds. Here's a corn chip. Did you see how that corn chip had high frequencies? Now, if that was amplified, everybody would have been able to hear it, right? How about this? If I take a cup of water and I blow bubbles in it. That was fun. How about I slurp? this? What if we blow up a balloon? Now listen. <laughs> now finally, this is a slide whistle that my daughter let me use. So you say, well, how in the world can this help with my choir? What I do is I pull up this browser. I put it on my iPad or a phone, or if you have a projector or a computer, anything, then you let them see it. Now watch when I give good consonants. Okay. So I want good consonants that my singers. So if I say, let's say the word bread, bread, bread. See at the top there, you can see the frequencies. Now, what if I want what is called a fricative, with the, which is F, S, or T, 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 K, 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 P, 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 P. If your singers think they're giving you enough consonants, all you have to do is show them this cool tool and they'll say, oh, I don't see them. You demonstrate it by holding your voice next to it and doing it and then have them do it. It will give them a visual representation. Now, just for fun, I wrote this silly song where I'm doing different things with my voices. It's, 
with my voice, but I sang multiple times and different instruments so you can see what they look like. I hope that you enjoy this song. I call it Groovin' with Roger. Hey, thanks for watching this YouTube video. If you have not done so, please subscribe. Check out any of my other videos on sight singing, vocal warm-ups, or other fun experiments.